most people, rolling out the IT band with a connective tissue on the side of the leg is incredibly uncomfortable and sometimes extremely painful. So what I'd like to do is show you a way that we can loosen up the IT band by loosening up all the tissue around it. So we're gonna start on the front side of the thigh. We're gonna move off to the side a little bit more to hit some of those different muscles. We're gonna move up to the top of the outer hip. This is called the TFL, and it's one of the major abductors of the hip. This is gonna help loosen up that area. And then we're gonna do the outside of the hamstring and the glute. And we're gonna do all this just using a regular standard foam roller, so just one piece of equipment. So I'm gonna start on my right side. I'm gonna take the roller, and put it just above my knee, with my left leg out to the side like a figure four. From here, I'm just gonna slowly roll up and down the front of the thigh. If I find speed bumps or painful areas, I wanna spend some time on there and try and let them release. It should take me about 30 to 60 seconds to get all the way up the front of the leg to the top of the hip. Once I get there, I'm gonna turn a little bit to the outside and I'm gonna roll back down in the same fashion. Again, hitting any speed bumps, pausing there for a second to let it loosen up. And I wanna take about 30 to 60 seconds to roll all the way back down onto the knee. Now as I come, finish that one, I'm gonna come back up to the top of the hip, and I'm actually gonna turn on my side. From here, I'm not directly on my side, where the hips are stacked, I'm gonna be forward just a little bit. So I'm not on this bone, but just off to the side, kind of in that front area. I'm sorry, not on the side, but just right up to the front. So a little forward lean, and I'm just gonna stay in this very small area. This one's probably gonna be one of the more uncomfortable of the three so far. And I'm just gonna stay, notice I'm not really rolling up and down like I did on the other two, just staying right in that spot. Once I finish that one, again, for about 30 to 60 seconds, I'm gonna flip over onto the back. So I'm gonna start by having a seat on that same leg. I'm gonna put my right leg on the roller, and I'm gonna turn it out to the outside a little bit trying to put my left leg over the top and I'm going to roll up and down the outside of the hamstring. And I want to roll up and down and find the area that hurts the most and that's where I'm going to spend the most of my time. Again, taking this one for about 30 to 60 seconds. And then finally we're going to finish up with the glute. So I'm going to have a seat on the roller. I'm going to take my left leg and I'm going to cross it over my right like a figure four and then I'm gonna lean to the right. So all my weight is on that right cheek. And then I'm just gonna roll up and down the entire length of the glute. But I wanna keep all my weight just on that right side, and keeping this left hip nice and lifted. Doing that one for about 30 to 60 seconds, and hitting that whole area around will help to loosen up that IT band without putting direct pressure on it. Now once you finish that side, of course we want to do the other leg, you don't want to be walking in circles all day. Taking the time to foam roll brings so many benefits. Five, ten minutes, even three to four times a week is really going to help alleviate aches, pains, chronic aches and pains, and help that body move a little bit better.